Hey, I'm just back from a mule deer hunt and I was out for a couple days and temperatures dropped down at night and we had a lot of frost. And um, the Stormstar Kuyu tent that I've been using, I've got it set up in the backyard. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video on some of the things I don't like about that tent. Now don't get me wrong, I like Kuyu's gear. Generally I like their stuff. The tent though has some deficiencies, some issues with it that I just don't like. Um, so I just want to cover that and we'll go through it and um, kind of one by one. I've owned it for two years now <clears throat> and been in it, you know, lived in it for weeks at a time and I was just in it for two days. And uh, you know, you get to know a piece of gear and so I've been getting to know this one and it's a great tent. I really like it and I like Kuyu's gear. Like, you know, I have lots of Kuyu's gear, but there's just a couple items with this tent that, you know, are oversights or they're just little things that, you know, could be addressed in a, in a in the next revision. So if Kuyu watches these videos and does the research on YouTube and online, maybe they'll see this customer review. But uh, here it is and we'll have a look and go through it. Okay, so for starters, the gear loft. This gear loft right here is $19 on the website today. And uh, it's an add-on when you purchase the tent. Now this is a $700 plus tent with the footprint, $800 tent. And uh, my question for Kuyu is, why is this sold separately and why is it 19 bucks? Why not just throw it in with the tent? Everyone wants it. It weighs 0.3 ounces, 0.3 ounces. I mean, it weighs almost nothing. It costs very little. Just add it in, add a couple dollars to the price and give it out with every tent. Shouldn't have to buy that separately. Okay, the next deficiency, and this is probably the one that bothers me the most. This little string here is what's used to secure this door when you roll it up. And I'll show you what I mean. Kuyu expects you to roll this up like this. All the way up here. And then take this, put it through this little loop. See the loop there? You can almost do it one-handed. It's easy to do. And then cinch that down. Well, you can see right away there's a problem with that design because the majority of the fabric is right here in this little ball and that inevitably unravels and does that and it's still cinched up. Kuyu really needs to move this cinch point to there and then it'll secure that all the way to the top here. We need it right here so it's got to move twice the distance up. So a little feedback for Kuyu there. And just so you know, that's gonna annoy you. The width of the tent. This tent is advertised at 56 inches. And I have a tape measure right here. 56 inches. It's just as it says on the website. So no issue there. The issue I have is <clears throat> as you lay down here, this is the head side, <clears throat> the head end. Inevitably, you're laying here with your partner, he or she. And when you are at 56 inches, you're right on the line here. You've got a couple inches in between you, especially when you have your bedding and once you have your mattress down. So what you end up doing, take the hat off, <clears throat> just put that up in the gear loft here, one of the gear lofts, is you end up putting your head down over here <clears throat> because you're trying to give each other a little space. And uh, you know, you got blankets and you got pillow and stuff happening here. And uh, you end up having your headlamp or whatever in this little gear loft that pulls this wall in a little bit and brings that gear loft sort of over your face and you're kind of in the corner here 
So my suggestion to Kuyu would be to pull this out a few inches and give another couple inches this way on either side of this tent. And that would make it, instead of 56 inches, it would make it 60 inches. And I think a lot of hunters, a lot of lightweight hunters would appreciate that because the added weight for that little bit of space would be negligible. And when you're in here with, with a buddy and you're effectively trapped in here for maybe days at a time while the weather's bad, I'm 5'8 and I have normal shoulders. But you get a guy in here that's, you know, one of you big guys who's six feet tall, really wide shoulders, you're not gonna be so comfortable in here with your partner. So even for a guy like me though, those four extra inches would be a huge deal. And I think it's well worth the doing. Okay, so the last thing for me is the poles on this tent. These poles are by DAC. Show that right here. Well, that's focusing. DAC Featherlight NFL Green. And the poles are very high quality. They're nice, they're light. Um, and they come together really nice, they pack nice. But uh, I had this tent in 60 mile an hour winds. And I know that for certain because I checked the weather um, and it was blowing like crazy. Like I thought we were gonna blow off the mountain. And it was a sheep hunt. And this tent was absolutely standing up to that beating. Um, but I found after I got home on that trip, the poles were bent. They were bent quite a bit actually. Um, and it hasn't affected the tent itself. Like these poles are bent right now. You can't even really notice. But I don't know if you see right there, like that gap is a little more than over here. Um, so, and the other bend spot is right here. So it's a mild bend. Once you have the tent set up, you can't notice too much. But when you take those poles apart, they're bent. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video with a little pro tip here. So I'm just drying the tent out right now. And it's gonna sit in my backyard for a couple hours while it does that. These flaps, these doors, if you just tie them together up here, it holds everything open. And you can get a nice breeze coming right through here. And it's gonna just dry everything out real nice. Um, for the Kuyu media folks who are probably watching YouTube videos on reviews and that, here's a little suggestion for change. And that would be to have reverse types on this clip. So a male and a female on either door. So that way when you bring it to this corner here, you can just clip them together instead of tying them like I have. Uh, that would be super handy. And I know Kuyu on their backpacks, they do stuff like that. So why not apply that methodology to your tent and have a nice spot to clasp that together. There you have it. Review of the Kuyu Stormstar two person tent. You know, it's an honest review and there are some issues with that tent. But uh, if you want to see some more content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the little bell for your notifications. And Backcountry Grind puts up really good content. So, see you on the next video.